Hi, I'm Linda Duhadway, and I'm going to be working with you on this unit. In this unit, we're going to be working with templates. First, we'll work with template functions, and then we'll learn how to make template classes. We're going to start with a function called myswap, and we're going to put it in the swap.h file. Notice that this file, it's inside the source folder. Uh, notice that this file already has the pound include guards. And we want to write a function that just swaps two values. So it's going to be a void function. It's not going to return anything. And we're going to call it my swap. Now to start with, we're going to have it swap two integers. So we'll just have int uh, value one, comma, and int value two. And then uh, what we need to do to swap it Remember, with swaps, we can't just put value 1 in value 2 because then we have two copies of value 1 and we've lost the copy of value 2. So we have to have a temp variable and it needs to be the same type. So we'll just call this temp and then we'll say that temp equals value 1 and we'll keep it there and then we can set value 1 equal to value 2. So now we've stored value 2 in value one, and then we can put uh, the temp into value two. Okay, now that we've written this, we can go in main and see how it works. Uh, we're going to want to include this swapdit.h file. So up here we'll do a pound include. And include that. And then let's go ahead and do a, a my swap. First, we need to have a couple of integers. So we can just have int1, and let's set it equal to 95, and int2 to 78. And then we call my swap, and we'll send it both these values, int1 and int2. And let's go ahead and, and output these, what they look like first, so we can see as they change. And then after we swap them, let's print it out again. And we could say this is after. And we could say this is before. And then let's see how that works. And there we have before integer 1 and integer 2 and after integer 1 and integer 2. And notice how they didn't swap. Okay, so what detail did we miss? We made all the changes in here, but the changes stayed in the function because these were passed by value. So the actual values that were sent didn't ever change. So to get a swap to work after you return, or just for those to stay in place, you need to pass these by reference. All right, let's try it again. Now when we run it, notice how integer one changed, it's now 78, and integer two changed, it's now 95. Those are hard to read. I'm going to go ahead and let's change our main just a little bit and put a carriage return right here. Maybe that'll help us see it a little bit better. There, and now we have a function that will swap two integers.